Today, I'm going to be showing you how to download your jam boards. Welcome back to Google Tutorials, where we give you the best tips and tricks to grow your confidence online. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so that you're the first to get notified every time we launch a brand new video. If you haven't watched the Jamboard playlist so far, there'll be a link in the description box below, as well as a link in the iCard in the top right of your screen. Also, check out the description box below as I throw show notes as well as useful links to everything I mention. So now you've completed your Jamboard, there are a few different ways you can share things. You can either use in the built-in share option at the top right of your Chrome tab. If you want to find out more on how to share things from within documents, check the video out in the description box below. Or there's a way to download your Jamboards. And that's what I'm going to be going through today. To do this, all you need to do is go to the three dots next to the share button for more actions. And then you have the ability to download as a PDF. This will download your Jamboard with all of its annotations, post-it notes and whatever as a PDF, which is perfect for if, you're, if you've shared this with your class and you want to have one copy which you can see all of the students' responses or work, etc. To do this, all you need to do is click download. And as you can see, my Jamboard has now downloaded at the bottom right of my screen. But now I'm going to show you one more way on how to download your Jamboards. So let's say you don't want to download the entirety of your Jamboard, as there are too many slides or you only want to show one specific slide to somebody. To do this, you go up to the three dots as we did last time, but this time we want to go for save frame as image. As I mentioned in a previous video, frame is a fancy word for saying slide. So each one of these slides is a frame. So save frame as image. And this is perfect for if you wanna download one single one or selected slides instead of the whole entire document. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe as we've got a ton more content just like this.